made a video for ages, but I mean, I did make one like the other week, but I just feel like it's been ages since I've done anything. But anyway, today I'm going to be filming a tag video. I'm very excited. This is the stereotypical couple book tag, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the stereo, no, the stereotypical couples tag. I'm very excited. I saw this on um, the booktube channel Fred Weasley Died Laughing and it sounded really good. So I'm very excited and I'll link her original video down below so you can check her out. But I really liked this idea of doing this tag and I'm very excited to do it. So I have the questions here so I might have to read from this but bear with me. My dog is scratching at the door. Let me go get him. Whew, I found my baby. The first one is puppy love, you know. Oh, you can go over there. The first couple is the honeymoon couple and the question is your new favourite book. For this I'm going to answer with Evernight by Claudia Gray. I... There's a hair somewhere. I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. Like, I mean, the first book was a bit weird and the way that the characters were written was a bit weird. And the big thing that happened, I was just like, okay. But, it's my second book, the series really redeemed itself, but I really enjoyed it. I thought, it, oh, I got it. And, yeah, definitely my new favourite book. I'll probably have some new favourite ones soon, though, but at the moment, I really did enjoy this, so, yeah. Next couple is the PDA couple, and the question is, a book you can't stop talking about or shoving in other people's faces? Well, the book that I definitely can't stop talking about is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I really enjoyed this book, and if you've been with my channel, you know I've enjoyed this book, because I mentioned it in, like, so many videos. Every tag video, The Night Circus at least makes a showing, I think, but I have all... I've, I even tried to get my parents to read this, and they're all like, no, nah, not gonna, but I still talk about this all the time like my friend Lissy knows that I talk about this book a lot and I'm always like dude you should just read it so you know what's going on and she's just like I won't do it and I'm just like girl you need to I love it so much but yes I definitely love this book so much the next couple is a long distance couple and the question is a book you want to reread well, a book I'd really like to reread is Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel oh I'm, getting, I'm really horrible at saying people's names, that's a problem. But I read this book a few, quite a few years ago, and I enjoyed it then, but I never got the rest of the trilogy, and I didn't even know there was more books in this trilogy. But when I think about this book, I just don't remember what happened, and it was kind of confusing for me at the beginning, because I didn't, still really didn't know what was happening. So I'm going to reread this and then just read the whole trilogy, just so, I know, like, so it makes sense to me. So it's, I need to reread this, it really needs to be reread by me. The next couple is the Netflix and chill couple and the question is a book with some steamy scenes. I had to think about this for a while because like most of my books are like more romantic than the steamy ones but then I was like oh I'm going to do a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas because oh my god some of the scenes in this are just like whoo really good and they're really well written and because I love these two characters so much I really enjoy the scenes with them together and they're just uh, the tension between them is so amazing and I can't wait for the next book. Court of Mist and Fury. It's coming out like soonish. Like it's still a while off, but still it's happening. It's happening. But I'm hoping there's going to be some more scenes in that book as well, and that's going to be great. Can't wait. The next couple is the Miss Mismatch couple, and the question is a book you never expected to love. Well, I don't really have an answer for this because every book that I read, I always know that I'm gonna like it and I don't buy it with the expectation that I'm not going to like it. That's just not how I read. Like I always know I'm going to like the book that I read and I never buy a book where I'm going to think that I might not like it because then I just don't get it because I don't want to have to not like it. So yeah. The next couple is the why are you still together couple and the question is the book you want to break up with. Well, one that I really want to break up with is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I really wanted, I, re I really wanted to like this book. The movie was actually so amazing, and I just enjoyed that so much. So when I read the book, and it's the tiniest little freaking thing ever, and it was so horrible, I was so upset. So I don't want this book in my life anymore. I'm actually going to be taking it to a secondhand bookstore, and hopefully someone else will want it. That someone else will want it when because I don't want it. And yeah, I just can't. I'm just going to try and banish this book from my mind and only remember the movie. It's just, yeah. Like, I, I just went into this expecting so much, and it just it wasn't there. 
Okay, and the final couple is the old married couple. And the question is, a book you never part with? Well, the book I'm never going to part with is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ardier. Oh my god, I loved this so much. I know you probably all know how much I love this book. Five out of five stars. If I could give it a gazillion infinite number of stars, I would, but it has to be five, which is upsetting. But I really enjoyed this so much. It was just amazing book, amazing retelling, amazing everything in my life is just complete with this book. And I loved it so much. So I have to talk about it and say I'm never going to get rid of it because if I did, that would be a travesty. And I just, I can't, with this book, I can't because I love it so much. It's just, it, <laughs> I love it too much. But anyway, guys, that is a stereotypical couple tag. I had a lot of fun with this. I tag anyone who wants to try it. It's a really fun idea and I like it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.